Welcome to my second video today on X-Plane 12. Link to my previous video in the notes below. And in this video we're going to take a quick flight in VR. And I'm using the second generation of the HP Reverb G2. Welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching and let's get started. I've enabled VR and we're back in the X-Plane Hangar. With the menu board in front of us, a bit of a lighting shading issue going on here. We can take a quick look at the settings. I haven't gone for anything dramatic. These are medium to high settings. I've got a 10900K and a 3090 RTX graphics card. Other than these settings, everything else is at default. And for VR, I've enabled both my controllers and the VR mouse. I've left Steam pretty much alone, with the resolution set at 92%. So in summary, this is pretty much a default VR test. Let's get going. Welcome to the cockpit. We're in the Cessna Skylane with the G1000. To access the menus, click the controller joystick down, then rotate it to your selection. Once you've selected one, then pull the trigger and it will take you to that menu. Here for example, I'm back to the settings menu. If you're like me and you prefer the mouse, you'll still find it much easier to use the controller for things such as reseating yourself back in the pilot seat that's selected now and I've pulled the trigger. Throttle all the way forward and let's get going. Now you're not seeing exactly what I'm seeing in the headset. And two things are evident to me right from the get-go. One, the instruments are really clear and easy to read. And secondly, even though I've got cloud quality on maximum, in the VR headset the clouds are absolutely horrible. Now I know I've got motion reprojection on, but there's a fair amount of waviness or ripples as I look at the clouds. It's very distracting. But it is early access, but I sincerely hope that this issue gets tackled soon. You'll have note I'm staying fairly low initially, as I want to judge frame rate and the smoothness of the VR, and I'm deliberately flying in an area that will have auto-gen. That's me, not the sim, messing about with the throttle. At the settings that you've seen, well, it's fairly smooth in the VR headset, but there are tiny micro-pauses every now and again. Again, I'm not sure if they're evident to you looking at the video, but they were clear to me in the VR headset. They are very tiny, very micro stutters, but they are there. As I come low over these trees, you might be able to see it. Just a note, I haven't tried to optimize the VR settings, and I'm sure they can be considerably improved from what they are now. Considering my PC specifications, I don't think the settings I put in are unreasonable. If I were in Microsoft Flight Simulator, to be honest, I'd have been a little bit more demanding. We're now able to get more of an impression of the autogen. And if you have a look, you can see there's a train going along by the river. And I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with the graphics that I'm looking at. Perhaps it's me and I had too high an expectation of X-Plane 12. And I fully acknowledge it's early access and they're not able to compete with Microsoft Flight Simulator and nor did I expect them to. Don't get me wrong, this is not horrible, but I can't really tell the difference between this and X-Plane 11 Autogen and Scenery. During this flight I decided to change most of my settings on the fly, which you can do. Selected settings, went back to the menu and back to the graphics options and I turned some, not all of them, all the way up. Just to stress the system and see what would happen. I've edited the results out. VR was basically unflyable with everything set to max. Just like in X-Plane 11.5, controllers are supported in X-Plane 12 and you do so using exactly the same process as before. Highlight an item, pull the trigger, and then move the controller accordingly. I did find periodically I had trouble reactivating the mouse after using the controller, but that might just have been me. VR performance in 11.5 had a reputation for being very smooth and very good. Right now in this early access version, VR is not bad, but it's not quite as good. I guess there's more going on under the hood. Now it's all too easy to get hypercritical, and I'm very conscious of that. And as mentioned before, we have to recognize this is early access, and there's more work to be done. But from a VR perspective, this feels like an upgrade. It feels like 
11.6, not version 12. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found it useful and informative. See you again soon. Bye for now.